video on coordinate geometry of the circle, we'll be looking at finding the length of a tangent to a circle from an external point. So let's look at an example. So I want to find the length of the tangent from the point 2 minus 1 to the circle x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 8y plus 12 equals 0. Well, I'd like to start out by getting a visual idea of what's going on in this question. And to begin that, I'm going to work out the centre and radius of the circle. And I'll start off by writing the format for the equation of the circle directly below my equation. And you can get this in your log tables on page 19. So you can see that here at the bottom of the page. That's our equation layout. And once we have that layout, we can work out the centre and radius of our circle. And to get those two things, I'll need to first of all find G, F and C. So I'll just start by equating these terms here. So I can say from the first equation that minus 6 equals to 2G. So G is minus 6 over 2 and G is equal to minus 3. On to the Y terms. Minus 8 equals 2F. So I'll divide by 2 and F is minus 4 and C is easy. It's just 12. So as per the log tables, the centre of the circle is minus G minus F. So I'll just change the signs of these two values to make the centre. So my centre is 3, 4. And the radius can be found using the root of g squared plus f squared minus c, again, all on page 19 in the log tables. So take a minute here to work out the radius yourself, pause the video, and then play and see if you got it right. So I'll fill my formula in, making sure to put brackets around the minus 3 and the minus 4. My radius comes out as root 13. So I have loads of information now, and I'm going to use all this information to draw a sketch. So the question is about the circle and the tangent. So I've drawn a circle with a tangent to it. And now I'm going to fill in any extra information that I have. Well, first, let's go back and read the question. It wants us to find the length of the tangent from the point 2 minus 1 to the circle. So the point 2 minus 1 is on that tangent. And I want to figure out how far out from the point of tangency it is. Note that I'm not being asked to find that point of tangency itself, just the distance to it from the point. I'm going to call this unknown distance d. Okay, so what other information can I fill into this diagram? Take a moment to look back over what we've written down so far and see what else we can fill in. Pause the video here and do that and then play and see if you filled it all in correctly. Okay, so we've done a bit of working out. We know the centre. That's the point three, four. And we've also worked out the radius. And of course, the obvious place to draw the radius in is to join the centre here to the point of tangency. And I actually know that distance because I found the radius already. That distance is root 13. So I've filled everything in that I've worked out so far, but there's a few additional pieces of information that I can fill in also. What do I know about the radius and the tangent at a point of tangency? Well, I know that they're perpendicular. So I've filled that right angle into my diagram. And there's something else pretty obvious that I could do to complete my diagram or to give me something to work with in terms of calculation. So have a look at your diagram and see, is there anything obvious else that you could fill into it? The obvious thing to do is to join these two points. And by doing so, we create a right angle triangle. Now, I want to find one of the sides of that right angle triangle. So I kind of feel like Pythagoras could be lurking on the horizon, but I don't have enough information just yet to go ahead with that. I know one side of my triangle. I need to know two. Is it possible to find a second side? Well, I can just use these two points and the distance formula to figure out the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle. So go ahead and do that calculation yourself. Pause the video here and then check and see if you're correct. So I'm filling those points into the distance formula and I'm getting a distance of root 26. And now we're all set up to use Pythagoras to find that missing distance d. So again, pause the video here and use the two sides that we know in the triangle to find the missing side d using Pythagoras' formula. So this is how that calculation is going to look. d squared plus root 13 squared equals root 26 squared. I can square those square roots to get d squared plus 13 equals 26. d squared equals 26 take 13, which is just 13. And finally, square root to get your value for d. So d is equal to root 13. And this is the answer that was required. The length of the tangent from the point 2 minus 1 to the circle. As a little aside, it's interesting to note that this is not the only tangent that I can draw from 2 minus 1. I could draw another tangent in this direction. 
and I've just filled in the radius. And these two triangles are actually identical. So the distance from the point 2 minus 1 to the circle in both cases is d, in this case, root 13. Okay, so now a question for you to do yourself. So your question is, find the length of the tangent from the point 4, 7 to the circle x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 6y plus 5 equals to 0. So pause the video here now, and then when you're finished, play and check and see if you got it correct. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is establish the centre and radius of the circle. And again, this format for the circle is available on page 19 of the log tables, and you should have the log tables open next to you at all times. So I'm matching up the equivalent parts of those equations and equating them. So in this case, g is minus 2, f is minus 3, c is 5. Now I'm going to make the centre and the radius. Again, this information is available in the log tables. My centre is 2, 3. And here I have the formula for radius. So I'll fill that in. And in this case, I get root 8. So now I'm going to sketch what's happening in the question. So I've sketched my circle and a tangent. Note that this is only a sketch and I'm not putting things in the correct places relative to the coordinate plane. It's just to give me an idea of what I'm working with. So I'll mark in three points, the point 4, 7 and the point 2, 3 that I know, and the point of tangency that I don't have values for. Now I'll complete my triangle. And of course, I can fill in my radius, which is root 8. I'm going to call that required distance that I want to find d. I'm going to clearly mark in that right angle because don't forget the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of tangency. And then we'll use the distance formula to find the distance of this line in here along the hypotenuse. So I'm filling in that formula and I'm getting root 20. And now we're all set up to use Pythagoras to find that d. So here's my equation d squared plus root 8 squared equals root 20 squared. I'll square those roots, I'll subtract, and d is root 12. And if you're using the calculator for this, it may say to you 2 root 3, but that's the same as root 12, so either of those answers is fine.